you're an interior design business, this is how we manage your bookkeeping with QuickBooks. First, we help you figure out which plan in QuickBooks is best for you. This is based on where you are in your business journey. There are four main QuickBooks categories that you could choose from for your interior design business. They are Easy Start, Essential Plan, Plus, or Advanced. If you're just starting out in your business and don't want to worry about a bookkeeper or an accountant, and you want to do the bookkeeping on your own, then the Easy Start may be right for you. The only con about the Easy Start plan is that it is not capable of managing projects. If this is a big part of your interior design business, you may not want to choose this plan. The Essential Plan is a much better plan for those who now have a good foot in on your business or are starting to make a little bit of sales and are either working on your business part-time or full-time. Now, although it doesn't have the project feature that many interior designers work with, it does allow you to work with accountants and bookkeepers to help you with your bookkeeping. This plan is generally sufficient for most interior design business owners. Now, if you're working on your interior design business full-time and managing projects is a core part of your business, then the plus or advanced plans may be the best option for you. Both of these plans have the ability to track individual projects, inventories, and also create and manage budgets for your interior design business. The only major difference between the plus and advanced plan is that the advanced plan allows for a little bit more automation with the QuickBooks software. As previously mentioned, the plan you choose will be based on whether or not your interior design business wants to manage projects within the accountant software. If this is not a core part of your business, we'll probably set you up with the essential plan. If this is a core part of your business, we will set you up with the plus plan. And as your business grows, you'll be switched over to the advanced plan. Once we have your plan figured out, there are five main features that we optimize in order to allow your interior design business to run smoothly within the QuickBooks software. The first is enabling the classes and locations tracking. This option is only available for those who have the plus or advanced plans. Once turned on, you can categorize transactions by projects, rooms, or even design phases. Or if you have multiple locations, you can categorize the transactions by the location of each business that you're running. Next, for those who want to track the quantity and price or rate of certain inventory, QuickBooks allows you to do that. Once this feature is turned on, you can add categories for furniture, uh, fixtures, or even consultation services. These items are directly linked to the inventory of your QuickBooks and allow you to track them to let you know when a restock of an item is needed. Next is the activation of progress invoicing. This feature is available for all QuickBooks plans. It basically allows you to create invoices from estimates that your client has agreed to. The fourth optimization feature we will set up for your QuickBooks account is the reminders feature. Now this ensures that any invoices are paid on time and automatic reminders are sent to overdue or late invoices. And lastly, for those who want to use projects in the interior design business, the project feature will be turned on to allow you to track profitability with individual projects that are linked to your customers. Once these features have been optimized, we can now start creating categories specific to your interior design business. These categories are what we call the chart of accounts and they'll fall into one of five categories. These include the assets, liabilities, income, expenses, and equity accounts. By tailoring the categories in QuickBooks to reflect the workflow and transactions that are unique to your interior design business, you can create a clear financial picture for your interior design business. All right, let's now create estimates and invoices for your interior design business. Before we do that, there are two things that you have to do to optimize invoicing or estimates within QuickBooks. The first is creating an invoice or estimate template that is specific to your business. QuickBooks allows you to choose from multiple templates, or you could simply use the default template for your invoices or estimates. You can adjust each template to fit your company's aesthetic, as well as draft emails that are specifically crafted for each invoice or estimate that is sent to your clients. Once you're satisfied with your templates, you could start creating products and services to use for your invoices 
or estimates. These products and services are directly linked to your income account and will need to be selected when you're creating an invoice or estimate before you send it to the client. There are three options for creating products and services within QuickBooks. These are non-inventory services or inventory product. If you plan on tracking your inventory, choose the inventory product option when creating products and services. If you don't plan on tracking your inventory, choose the non-inventory or service option when creating your products or services. Once this is completed, you can now use the software to create and send your invoices or estimates. Doing this is very simple within QuickBooks. First, click the new button, then click invoice or estimates under the customer section. Next, enter the client's details. Add the products or services within the product or services section. Adjust the quantity and rate as needed and add sales tax if applicable. Once you're happy with the invoice or estimate, you can send it directly to your clients via email. Now let's talk about collecting payments directly from the invoices that you send to your clients. When the invoice is sent, clients can pay directly through the invoice link using credit cards, debit cards, or bank transfers. This feature can be turned on in the company settings of the software under payments. This feature works hand in hand with payment reminders, which can be turned on to remind clients on late payments. Once a payment has been made to an invoice, QuickBooks automatically matches it to the invoice in real time, which saves you a lot of time and also reduces any errors in that case. Now, if your interior design business collects sales tax, you can accurately track it within the software as well. This can be done by navigating to the taxes tab and selecting set up sales taxes. QuickBooks will guide you through adding the business location and determining the appropriate tax agencies based on your province or territory. Once your sales taxes have been set up for your interior design business, you can now start adding it to your invoices and also bills. Speaking of bills, let's talk about how you could track and manage expenses and bills in QuickBooks Online so that you can stay audit ready. There are a few ways in which you can track bills and expenses for your interior design business. QuickBooks has a receipt and bill manager to help you track your receipts and bills. You can import bills or receipts in a few ways. You can drag and drop them directly from your desktop into the QuickBooks software. You can use your phone to take a picture of the receipts, which will then import it into the software. Or you can send the receipt or bill to an email that is specific to your QuickBooks account. Something to keep in mind is that the expenses feature comes with all the QuickBooks plans. However, the bill feature is only available for the plus, essential and advanced plans. Once we have the bills and expenses feature set up, we can now start in connecting your bank account to QuickBooks. This allows us to pull transactions directly from the bank that you're using to run your business into QuickBooks so that they can be accurately categorized. You can either do this yourself or you can hire us to do it for you. Now, for those interior design businesses that work with projects, you can create projects in QuickBooks and link them to customers in order to track income, expenses, and profitability for each client or design job. It's actually a pretty simple process to create a project within QuickBooks. You start by setting up a new project under the Projects tab. Next, you link that project to an existing customer. In order to track an invoice or a specific expense or bill for that specific project, all you have to do is make sure that you select the project's name under the customer name for that specific bill, invoice, or expense. Once you do this, QuickBooks will automatically update your profit margins and give you real-time insights into project performance for that specific client. Now we know project managers may be working in other softwares and may only want to use QuickBooks to manage bookkeeping expenses and taxes. Fortunately, QuickBooks allows for connections for other interior design software such as Programma, Biodoma, or House Pro. And if your software is not able to connect to QuickBooks, we can easily import data from those softwares into QuickBooks directly so that you can track them in both softwares. Now, if all this seems a lot, you can book a discovery call with us by visiting paperlessbooks.ca. 
to see how we can best serve your interior design business. However, if you want to take on the bookkeeping yourself, here is the basic task schedule for your interior design business. On a daily basis, you want to record order transactions such as expenses for materials, design services, or any other business costs. This generally involves categorizing the transactions that come in through your connected bank feeds. On a monthly basis, you want to reconcile the bank and credit card statements with your records that you categorized on a daily basis. And you want to make sure that each transaction matches what is on the bank statements. This is also a good time to print all your financial reports and review them to make sure that you're in the right track for your business. Another monthly task is to prepare and file sales taxes in order to keep compliance in check. On an annual basis, you want to wrap up your year's financial activities and set the stage for the upcoming year. This can include tax filing, review the year's overall financial performance, and meeting with an accountant to ensure that everything is in order for tax reporting. You may also want to look over your budget to make sure that your goals align with your long-term growth strategies and update any financial tools or software so you can keep your accounting methods efficient. Now that's pretty much it for this video. And if you have any questions or concerns about how to run your business within QuickBooks as an interior designer, you can visit paperlessbooks.ca or put your message within the comments of this chat and I'll be sure to reply to you. See you on the next video.